So, in today's video, guys, it's some of these new banners we got for Worldwide Celebration, right? So, obviously, we got the Trio banner here, and then we'll have Broly's banner here as well. So, both these banners are actually pretty good. I'd say they're probably... what I say anniversary level? Probably not. Maybe, like, a tier below it, in terms of, like, how the banners look. So, the good thing is, as well, because, obviously, well, I guess it depends you're on Global or JP. Uh, if you're on Global, you can get tickets as well. Obviously, the tickets are pretty good. So, you have just a normal one here that just has... You get a regular SSI character guaranteed. But you do have a premium one here which has a guaranteed at least one feature SSI, right? So that's obviously very good. But yet again, that's only, you know, that's only the ticket version. So, yeah, basically we'll have a look at the banners. We'll have a look through, you know, all the units. Sort of discuss sort of what I usually do in these sort of videos. So there is a good thing as well, I should point out. There is discounts, obviously for the first 400 hours only. And as you can see, there is a time to show just in case you're not sure when it ends. Uh, the good thing is, obviously you have three moldies, so 150 signs, plus you get the last one for free. So, good chance to get stuff as well. And probably another thing I should mention before we look into the banner, which is, this is probably the biggest thing I would say, is you can get a guaranteed copy of one of the new units, right? So, there's a new pity system here, and basically, uh, every coin that you summon, so let, let's say you summon the carnival banner, or don't confess, as you can see, you get like the certain like coin looking thing. I don't know what you I think they just call it a worldwide coin. And basically you can change these up for you know eventually when you get to 500, you can get the new unit straight away, right? Now you can only get one copy, which is a little bit I would I say a downside. I don't think it's a downside because you're guaranteed to get the copy after I think it's 2500 stones, roughly, or a little bit less, because you can trade dupes. So, it is going to be a lot to get the new unit, but another thing I will mention is these coins, like the worldwide ones, will transfer to the part 2 banners, right? So, for example, these 163 coins can be used for the next banner as well, right? So, I'm assuming this is going to be like a test period sort of thing. So, they're probably going to see how many people like this sort of system, if they're going to keep the pity and all that sort of stuff. Because I think the pity is definitely a good idea. 500 probably is a little bit too much, I would say, because like I said, that is 2,500. So I'd probably say 250 coins for new unit is pretty good, right? If if this is like if they put it to unlimited dupes you can get of the new unit, then they can make it maybe 500 after that after your first copy. I'm not too sure, right? But I think 250 probably is a little bit more feasible for other players to get, because obviously for your play players, yeah, you're not gonna have enough to get them, right? It's just simple, right? Like, because when you think about with had anniversary, we just come out of, we all said, you are Goku's banner. Like, there's just so many banners Global's had. It's hard to, con like, you're not going to get this in the celebration, right? Unless she obviously, you know, spend money to get stones and all sort of stuff. So, yeah, the pit is obviously very good. Yet again, this will transfer over to part two. And then after that, these coins, you know, if you didn't get the 500 or whatever, they'll just transfer anywhere just to normal carnival coins or... Uh, don't confess coins, right? So, yeah, after looking at that, we'll have a look at the banner and then go from there, right? So, we'll go off the trio's banner first. Now, I don't actually know who's number one or two yet. Like, I can see, you can say, like, could they be tied with Beast? Maybe, I'm not sure. Like, these unit, like, this unit here is just incredible to use in that so far, right? I'm currently still trying to get them fully link leveled up. Well, at least up to level 5 that I can use my keys. But they are looking incredibly well after the showcase that I've seen on YouTube that so far. So they're an incredible unit, so I'd say that could be an enticement for a must summon. But yeah, again, we'll look at the full banner first, right, before we fully decide. So we've got them. The banner unit, Piccolo and Vegeta, I haven't really looked at just yet. But they are banner units, so after Worldwide, they will be on other banners as well. It's obviously unfeatured, so that's not really too much of an issue, I'd say. Uh, Margin Boot, obviously very good, can help with a lot of missions as well, because, you know, as we all know, Extreme Side on Dokkan is obviously very lacklustre, I'd say, with units, so this boot is actually very good, right? Uh, who else got? So got Super, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku as well, he's not too bad, he's still good, but he's not, like, mega good sort of thing, but he is a little bit underrated, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> we don't really have to talk about this Goku and Vegeta here as well. I really like the animations for Blue, like when you go Vegito, but other than that, they're just, yeah. 
uh, B Duo, to be honest, I'd say they're still pretty good. Right, so if you can get more copies of them, that's obviously a huge W, because they're still pretty good. Yet again, they're not like mega top tier, but they can definitely help out in some difficult stages. Uh, right? We have to wait and see, right? Oh, okay. uh, well, there's Broly. Uh, yeah, I'd say really they're average. That. They're, like, they're pretty mid. This Gohan can cook with Beast Gohan if you run them two together, but... Yet again, he's still not really as good as I'd think he, he should be. Uh, this Broly as well, I would say if you haven't got copies of him, he'll be a massive like W to pick up because his EZA should be next week or this week coming up. Yes, yeah, this week coming up actually. So he could probably cook fairly well after his EZA, so I'm very interested to see how they're going to build him and what sort of stuff. And I think, yeah, we've got this Super Saiyan 3 Goku here as well, which you may think it's an old unit, trash, but remember... He has got a super easy A, so if you haven't got copies of him, or you haven't got a rainbow, definitely a good time to get him. Even if you bought him with coins, I don't think that's a bad idea. Actually, I should quickly check. Can you get... It'd have to be just in a normal Dokkan fish shop, wouldn't it? I just saw about then, I haven't checked that before. So let's go... Yeah, okay, so this is in the normal shop. Is it 150? Yep, okay, that's actually a massive W for 150. Oh, that's that's pretty huge. So yeah, I guess if you really want, you could just buy one or a few if you want. But I maybe one if you haven't got them. I think that'd be fine unless you are going to keep something on the banner, obviously. So your yeah, overall trio's banner here is definitely very good. Would I say it's a must summon? Yeah, I could see it being a must summon. Yet yeah, again, obviously you don't have to go mega deep in the banner if you don't want to. But, it's hard to say, right, because part two could be very hype as well. But at the same time, at the moment, these guys are looking really good. So if you do get them, it's obviously a huge W. But then if you get other feature units on the banner instead, you're still going to walk off probably with a win, right? So let's have a good Broly's banner, right? Now, Broly's banner is probably, what I say, better. I'm not too sure. We'll have a look, right? So Broly... I'm not too sure where I stand with him. I think he could be second or first. Yet again, I haven't had enough time to sort of muck around with him, see how well they're doing hard content, stuff like that to fully judge. But he's like definitely top five, right? You can say that for a fact. So Broly's very good. Now, I'd say these guys are still good as well. Because obviously, you know, with the new trio that we got out now. So these this unit here is definitely very good as well. So if you can pick them up, that's obviously going to be huge. Uh, this guy can still cook. A little bit, I would say, but he's not as good as he was, obviously, last year. Uh, this Goku's dropped off. Cooler, yeah, don't even talk about him. Broly's very good. If you haven't got this Broly and Chilo and Lemo, they're an incredible unit after Easy A. Right, so if you can get them, yet again, massive W. Turles, I'd say he's pretty good. Definitely after his Easy A, he's just, yeah, pretty good as well. So you can see how this banner's probably a little bit better, sort of, than Trio's banner. Uh, who else we got? We got this Tellus as well. So it drops off a little bit here. He's out for them. Yeah, this is where it drops off and the rest is trashy. SR. So overall... I don't know. They, they both have like... I'd say equal standings in terms of... Like good featured units. Probably Broly's Banner is technically a little bit worse. Only because you got right at the end here... These trash SSRs. So you got... This god Goku, which obviously, they're not trash, but mid, you know, mid. So you can sort of see it's, it's a little bit worse. But at the same time, there is very good LRs here. And you can actually pick up um, Dejo Go Gohan, right? So I'll quickly show you the one I'm on about real quick. Um, it's the one we got not too long ago, this one here. So he's actually on the banner as well, obviously unfeatured. But he's still pretty good, right? So there is good pickups as well on the unfeatured side. It's just, yeah, obviously the feature size is what you sort of want to aim for, right? Um, but yeah, it's going to be the video, guys. Like I said, it's sort of hard to fully say which one's better, in my eyes. I think... I want to say Broly's, but at the same time, the Dokkan Fest banner is probably a little bit better. And the main reason why I'd probably say that is, is because in the end, when the coins transfer over, you can use them as, like, normal Dokkan Fest coins. So I'd probably say this banner is better, but yet again, it really doesn't matter which one you're summoned for. It's just basically preference, right? I think Broly's probably going to be better, 
just because I mean he I don't know where I'd say Broly is that's probably the hard part I guess it doesn't matter right if you want you can summon them both summon them one save for part two I mean I probably recommend summoning obviously before because you get the discounts but yeah again it's hard to sort of decide right so yeah it's going to be today's video guys if you guys like this video and you want to see more, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.